Hey, welcome back to my channel, In Flight Music. If you're new here, my name is Ian, and today I just wanted to make a quick video on mixing and mastering. And I wanna help you make sure that your mixing and mastering levels, mainly your mastering levels, are exactly where they should be in terms of sounding really good on streaming services. So there's two programs that I wanna point out. The first one is a paid one, but the second one is 100% free. This first one is called Expose, and it's pretty neat. You can see right here, it says Mastering for YouTube. They have all kinds of algorithms here, all the way down to mixing, mixing balance. So you could bring your mixes in here and see if your mixes are leveled correctly, and then mixing punchy, mixing dynamic, mixing loud, mastering for CD, club, composer, MFIT, which I'm not familiar with, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, Crazy Loud, EBUR128, which is which is which I believe is an international standard for loudness for um, television broadcasting, and finally Netflix. So this covers pretty much anything and everything that you could possibly think of. And I'm just gonna drag in a snippet that I made, and you can see it analyzing the loop. And right now you can see that it's highlighting the problem areas. Let me go over what these actually stand for. So right here, you have your integrated loudness. So right now I'm at negative 14 LUFS and then negative 13.4 with uh, short term loudness. So this is a really healthy level of loudness. And then you'll see that I'm peaking at one point, negative 1.57 dB, true peak. And this is measuring correlation between your left and right. So how wide your stereo is. I just did a tutorial on stereo widening and how important that is. Definitely check that out. I'll leave a link down below. And then right here, you have your dynamic range. And if you leave the mouse, it'll actually go ahead and explain each of those sections for you as well. So right now I'm in the red for dynamic range. And the reason being is because this is one solid loop. So if this was a tracked out full composed beat or song i would have a lot more dynamic range because i would have parts where the drums drop out parts where the bass drops out um, just parts where the level of the entire track drops dramatically and that increases your dynamic range so if i were to go to, uh, through these different mastering presets you'll notice that most of these streaming services are just about the same and it gets a little different once you get into broadcasting, get in, getting into things like Netflix and whatnot. So yeah, right now this is 38 bucks and you could get this from masteringthemix.com. Now this other one is 100% free and this is the loudness penalty analyzer. You just go to loudnesspenalty.com and you just drag your file into here and it will tell you where you stack up on all the streaming services. But I actually, might prefer this over the other what i just showed you because you can actually listen to what your audio is going to sound like on each platform so here it is processing and right here it says nothing will change if i upload this to youtube and we can listen right here and as you switch to each of these algorithms it will play exactly what you would hear on spotify title itunes I'm Amazon Music, Pandora, and Deezer, and YouTube. From the get-go, you could already see, this is pretty much my goal, to make one export that I could add to all these platforms and not have to worry about exporting for YouTube, exporting for Spotify, Tidal, and so on and so forth. So if you scroll down, it'll say what, it'll explain what these numbers mean. So for example, a loudness penalty of negative 2.4 on YouTube means your song will be played back 2.4 dB quieter than its original loudness, than whatever you uploaded. So if we go back up here, we could see that nothing's going to change on this track for YouTube, nothing for Tidal, nothing on Amazon. On iTunes, this would be turned up 2 dB, and on Spotify, almost nothing would change as well. These are numbers that I'm definitely looking for, either zero or maybe one or two dB above or below. The great thing about this website is you can actually listen to what your track is going to sound like on each of these platforms. Let's actually keep playing YouTube and then immediately switch over to Spotify. And then I'm gonna switch over to iTunes and you'll hear that it does get louder. You can hear how it 
definitely raised about 2 dB. But you also heard that it didn't get distorted or anything. I'm not hearing any weird artifacts. And that's, that's pretty much due to the fact that it's only being changed by a couple dB at most. So these should be the type of numbers that you're shooting for if you're trying to do what I'm doing in terms of just having one export that you could put on every platform and feel comfortable about it sounding great on each of them. So yeah, hopefully that helps you figure out what levels your tracks should be at when you export and then you could go back and adjust from there using either of these two applications or just this one uh, free website. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.